All right, so we released some ladybugs. And I don't know if you can see that. That's their water. Let me see if I can get the container. Oh, those are my cherry tomatoes. And there's a ladybug container. Not sure how clear this is going to be. There we go. You can see them crawling out of the container. So um, I released them last night. And so I did this because for several weeks I have not filmed because I was a little discouraged because I got aphids and they started feeding on everything. All my leaves were decimated. See that? So that's what my leaves have been looking like. And here's a nice tomato. That's a Robison tomato. And as you can see, my cucumbers have gone wild. That's in the ceiling. You can see that one there. That's ready for me to pick. I'll do that a little later here before it gets too hot. And as you can see, the ladybugs are everywhere. They're happy. And I have some more water for them in there. And that right there, those are the raisins for them to eat while they get used to being in here. I know everything is really close, it's really tight in here. And another thing that I did, I'm also giving them some honey and I put it inside that toilet paper roll. Uh, you can see one ladybug going in there to eat the honey. So I got a pack of 750 of them. Kind of hard to see, but they're everywhere in here. And so far, any of the places, you can see them right there. Right there. And they're doing quite a good job of feeding on this aphid, so I'm feeling better about the greenhouse. Um, you can see some of the devastation right there. But I'm trying to zoom in on the tomatoes. There's a lot of tomatoes coming up. Let's see if we can get in here. There we go. There's some more. Those are Valencias. Let's see. There's some more Valencias. That right there is the eggplant. Oh yeah, the eggplant was decimated. Look at those leaves. Right, looks like we are going to be okay. Those are more cherry tomatoes. And as you saw earlier, some of them are already getting ripe. Let me see what else. That's the purple dwarf. So it looks like everything is going to recover. There's more tomatoes right there. And 
that right there. That's some more black cherry. This is the dwarf black cherry. And as you can see, there's lots of it. So we can get a better angle in there. There you go. There they are. And we have the teeny tiny diva in the house, doves. She comes in here and looks at everything, smells. That doesn't touch anything. We've done a good job of training her not to touch anything. Dovey, say hi to everybody. Good girl. Oh, you're turning to say hi to them. Yeah, okay. All right, and this is my cabbage. We have cabbage coming up. Here's some more. Let's see what else should I show you in here. Oh, oh there's another cucumber. Cucumber. Alright, so we also have melons growing in here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Right there. Go back a little. There's another one. And we have Probably about 10 of those in there. The, let me see. The Lance La Table. The Lance La Table melons. And then we have the tomatillos. The tomatillos are starting to bloom and come up. And the basil. And we also have the peas back there. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Let me show you my red crimsons. Oh, too tight. Right there. Right there, the red crimsons. I have lots of the red crimsons coming up. Oops. Some more of the red crimson. Yeah, this video is all over the place. Need to figure out how to move a little more smoothly in here. And those right there are some more Paul Robinsons. And as you can see, that plant was decimated. Somewhere. Not right there. There's a little shelf where I store my stuff. There's some more Robinsons. So, we, it looks like we're going to recover. Cucumbers are insane. Alright. 
it for now. And we will see you on the next one. Bye, teenies.